Sex-linked traits refer to traits that are located on the sex chromosomes. The most important thing to know about this chromosome pair is that the X chromosome are much larger than the Y chromosome, meaning that most alleles located on the sex chromosomes only exist on the X chromosome. We call these X-linked traits, and these are generally what we refer to when we talk about sex-linked traits. However, there are also a few traits that only exist on the Y chromosome, and these are referred to as Y-linked traits. Otherwise, the traits work in the same manner as with autosomal chromosomes, meaning that they can be dominant or recessive, and one dominant allele is enough to overpower a recessive allele and express a dominant trait. For this reason, in general, boys tend to be more affected by sex-linked recessive traits than girls, since they only possess one X chromosomes, while girls possess two. Hemophilia is a good real-life example of a recessive trait that is sex-linked in humans, so let's use that to practice solving a Punnett square for a sex-linked trait. Let's imagine that the woman in this example is homozygous dominant for the trait of hemophilia, meaning that she does not express it, nor does she carry it. Let's pair her up with a man that suffers from hemophilia, meaning that his one allele for hemophilia is recessive. So what were to happen if these two were to have offspring? Well, when we fill in the Punnett square, we find out that none of their children will have hemophilia. And this just goes to show you how influential the alleles of the mom is in sex link traits. Again, because she most often have two of these alleles, while the male usually only has one. If you want to understand any other topic related to Mendelian genetics, check out this playlist.